Jess from Sally Tomato and welcome to our 30 day learn to sew challenge. I am so excited that you're here and that you've taken an interest to learn how to sew. We are gonna start from scratch. So if you've never touched a sewing machine or cut into fabric before, this series is for you. More experienced sewists might wanna jump ahead to day 14 when we begin the first of six projects in this series. So if you look at your calendar for the next 30 days, I challenge you to block off only 15 minutes for the next 30 days to learn how to sew. We've created this skill building series so that way you'll learn all the basics and work up to some of your first projects. Before we get started, I have some tips to share with you. I want you to enjoy this challenge and set you up for success right away while you're learning your new hobby. The first tip is to create a space for your sewing area. You don't need a big space. You can set up a table, a desk, or even a temporary area that's easy to set up and then store away. You'll need enough room for your machine and then also a work area so you have space to cut, iron, and lay out your pieces. And you also want enough room to move between the machine and your work area. My next tip is to tell someone that you're doing this 30 day challenge. It always helps to have an accountability partner, somebody who will support you and check in on you to see how the challenge is going. Or perhaps maybe they'll even join you on this 30 day challenge. And the last tip is to physically write down a reminder for yourself to check in each day for this challenge. And we've actually created a free printable that you can download. There's a link below this video. And that way you can check in each day and make sure that you show up for the challenge. Otherwise, you could write it down on your personal calendar, put a post-it note on your fridge or mirror, create an appointment reminder on your phone, or even start a journal to track your progress. Physically writing down your goals will help bring them from just a thought in your head to reality. It's so simple to do, but it's very encouraging and it helps you track your progress. And I want you to notice what it feels like when you keep that appointment with yourself. I promise you that when you take the time for yourself and accomplish a goal, you are gonna feel so much joy. So if you're up for the challenge, I encourage you to start with those three tips and join me in this series to learn how to sew. I hope to see you soon. 